This website, this website, and this website were all built with no code. And there are these three incredible tools that when combined allow you to build $10,000 websites in minutes with no code and AI. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so up until now, building a website would require lots of different people. A programmer who would build it out, a designer who would create the designs, a project manager who would oversee and communicate with the client. And usually the process could take weeks, months, or even sometimes years. But right now with incredible no-code tools and AI, we can do that in a matter of hours. Now, the first tool I'm gonna to talk about is the reason why this entire thing is currently possible. And it's called Reloom. Now, Reloom actually started as a components library for a building tool called Webflow. But the AI website builder that Reloom has just released least is completely groundbreaking. So let's dig in and I'm going to show you how you can use it. So if you go to reloom.io, you're going to be able to go down to the right hand side here and you're going to find the AI site builder. And the first thing it's going to really ask you to do is to describe the company or describe what you're trying to build as a website. So we are no code is an online school for entrepreneurs to launch their startup with no code tools. Uh, and if I just input this, I'm basically going to be able to click on this generate button over here. And then in less than one second, as you can see here, it's basically going to just create a sitemap. So what's a sitemap? Well, a sitemap is basically an outline of what the website's gonna look like. What are the different pages that we're gonna have? What are the different sections on that page? And how do each one connect to each other? So in a matter of just a couple seconds, this generated a first one. I can also ask it to generate the additional pages underneath it. And come here and just put generate. It's gonna go ahead and build those out. So you see, this is actually live. So you can see how quickly this AI actually works. And what you'll notice below actually is that it even determines which sections you might want as additional pages. So here it's given me an about section, uh, a courses section, a blog, a contact form. And of course, all of these are adaptable. So now what I would do is I'd go to these individual sections down here and I would actually generate them. So about us, boom, I can just do that. You could also do them all at the same time, but I'm basically just gonna do them all separately here. And as that's generating, let's just go up here and check out these sections. And I'm gonna show you how to adapt each one of these sections. So for example, here it's the navigation bar, perfect. Here there's gonna be a hero section, feature section, right? So maybe I'm gonna take out the this one over here. You can right click and just delete it. Maybe I'm gonna wanna take the benefit section and put it above hero, then I want the benefits and a feature list. Then there's a how it works section. Um, here, I actually don't need this section because we're just gonna be featuring the courses. So I'll delete this. And then I can do this for all the other sections as well if I want by just going below and adapting these. So this is already absolutely amazing that it's just done this automatically without asking me too, too much. I can adapt every single prompt that I want here. The next thing that I would do is if I was building this $10,000 website for a client, I'd actually just copy the link, share it to that individual. And then we could have a conversation around, oh, you know what? we actually don't need this page we actually need an additional page now once we've agreed on the basics of the sitemap what we want to do is build out a wireframe for those of you who don't know what a wireframe is it's basically a full structure of what the website will look like without having all of the elements in it and this is where this tool gets incredibly powerful by just clicking wireframe up here it's going to translate everything that we've just created as a sitemap in an actual wireframe with different sections but not only that, it's writing out the copy for us. So launch your startup with no code at we are no code, right? And here it's already gonna be creating the different sections, discover the benefits of enrolling in our no code startup school, right? Each one of these sections, we can basically ask to rewrite it. We can change the tone of it. And this is basically the entire structure of your website already built out. Now, just to be clear, this would usually take weeks to do and it actually looks pretty darn good. So if I kind of go into this and look at the different sections, now what's so cool is that I can grab a section even, and I have the choice to change which kind of section it is. So here I could just come in here and I could check out the different layouts. You could visualize, as you can see here, by changing a couple different things with a header, without a header, four columns instead of three. Uh, we could replace the component as well if we wanted to. You're basically building out this entire wireframe and you can really just determine what you're looking for here. So there's so many different sections to choose from. And let's say that I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna auto-generate this 
rewrite all of the copy, create all of the things. It's really doing a great job at all of this. And again, you can go through each one of the different sections and just adapt it as you wish. So let's say, oh, this section, it's cool, I like this, but actually I want this testimonial to look a little different, right? I wanna fe feature three different individuals. I also wanna have their pictures here. Boom, I'm gonna select this one. And I wanna put their star system review as well. And as you can see, it's basically building this whole thing out in a matter of seconds with AI. And by the way, if you are watching this video and you're interested in launching a business or a tech startup, but you don't know how to program and you don't wanna spend $50,000 on programmers, then I highly recommend that you check out our program called the No Code Startup, where we essentially allow you to build your next tech startup from scratch with powerful no code and AI tools. So instead of trying to piece together the internet and figuring it out on your own, work within a community with coaching and a proven step-by-step -step curriculum, which is gonna allow you to launch your startup in no time. All you have to do is click below and apply for the program. We'll get back to you in 24 to 48 hours. And now let's get back to the video. And once you're done tweaking all of this, again, you can come here and you can share this grab your link, send it to the person that you're building this $10,000 website for. And you might think that we're done here, but the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna blow you away as well. So with Reloom, not only can we create the site maps and then convert those site maps into wireframes, but then we can either push it to a designer and keep designing inside of that wireframe, or we can actually push it to a website builder like Webflow and we're gonna be able to actually build the whole thing out as a website. So I'm quickly gonna show you how you might do it if you want to continue to design, but then I'm gonna show you how to push this inside the website builder. If you go to the top right here and once you've finished this all up, we can export. Here, you're gonna have the choice between pushing it to Figma, which is a very famous design tool, or you can export to Webflow, which is probably the most beautiful and powerful website builder today. But there are a couple steps that you have to do to make this a reality. So if I click on export to Figma, for example, it's gonna ask me to install the Figma plugin. I'm gonna come here, I'm going to install the Figma plugin. Once I install it, it's automatically gonna open Figma and it's gonna ask me to open Reloom library. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna need is going to be the Figma kit. So if you come to reloom.io again, I can grab the Figma kit and it's actually going to open up in Figma as you can see right here. Then here I'm gonna click open in and I'm going to select the free Reloom library that you see here. Then I'll come here, I'll click run. I'm gonna go and create this new tab that I'm gonna call new website. And then what I'm gonna do is go back into my project over here. I'm going to copy and I'm essentially going to bring it now inside here and I'm going to paste it. And right now what's happening is that it is building this entire thing out within the Figma project that I've created. And boom, just in about 30 seconds, it's built this entire website out for me in Figma. As you see, it's been using the elements from Reloom here. They've all been recreated. And now we can start designing within this. And as you can see, it's also built out a mobile version. And then once you've generated this, you can actually change all of the styles that you like. You could start designing on of this if this is the next step that you're gonna wanna do with your customer, right? And one thing I would recommend here is that if you're trying to change something, I would actually come to the style guide here and adapt things inside the style guide because this is going to actually change them throughout the entire project. So for example, if I wanted to change this button, I wanted to make it a different color and maybe wanted to have some rounded edges. You just go inside the style guide. So all I would have to do here would be to come to the UI elements to find the specific button that I want to change up here. Boom, click on this. And then I can basically come down here and change the color of that if I wanted to. So let's say that I wanted this, instead of being black, I wanted it to be a different custom color. Let's say I wanna be this blue. Excellent. So let's say I wanted to have roughly rounded edges. I could just do this and put it. And now this button looks like this. I could also choose to change other buttons. And so I could do the same thing here. And then what happens is that when I go to my website, it's automatically going to go into all the sections which have this specific button and it's going to change the color of them throughout the entire project. So basically this is the best way to be able to adapt elements inside of your Figma file. Uh, for them to reflect throughout the entire project. And so this part is really to design everything within Figma. However, you could also choose to skip this and go back to the project and actually export it 
straight to Webflow, which is gonna allow you to build it. I'm back here inside my project. I'm going to go export Webflow. It's gonna ask for a similar thing. And so here what I'm gonna do is copy to Webflow. Now the next thing it's gonna prompt me to do is to clone the style guide again, so we can have these elements inside of Webflow automatically. Excellent. Clone in Webflow, create site. And then here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new page, add a page. I can delete everything that's inside this project and I can go ahead and come back to my project and then paste it here. And as you can see here, it has imported the entire project over here. And what's amazing about this is that it actually already is created for responsive design, which means that it's also gonna look really nice in mobile. This is a fully built website. I could come here to the right and basically publish it. Uh, I could choose to connect it to a domain, publish it. And as you can see, everything that we've actually built out is here and we can just start replacing things out. So for example, here, I wanna change this image. I can simply go and change this to, let's upload an image from our folder over here and boom, just like that, we've replaced it. And what I love about this is that we can then very quickly preview it as well. So like if I were to come here and press on this, we're gonna be able to preview what it actually looks like. And um, yeah, it's absolutely amazing what's possible. So let's just switch this out. For example, we can choose an image, replace the image, Come here, replace the logo. And just like that, you can build a $10,000 website with no code tools. Now, all the tools I've used today, you can find below in the description. So if you're trying to build a $10,000 website for yourself or to sell to a customer, then you can use Reloom and then you can push it either into Figma and design or straight into Webflow and to build. And if you're trying to make your website incredibly impressive, you can easily do that by incorporating 3D design or even animations inside your website. So the best tool for that would be Spline, where you can either use an existing template or you could create one completely from scratch. And that oftentimes can make a huge difference. So you could have a 3D iPhone mockup, you could have a 3D character, you could have a entire uh, interactive 3D experience. And yeah, when you see these things on a website, they just look very impressive. And it can oftentimes be the difference between a five and $10,000 website. And if you're going for an animation, for example, you could have that animation interact when you scroll down the website. You could have it interact when you move the mouse around it. So if you're looking for the 3D look, definitely check out Spline. And as you can see, no code and AI does all the heavy lifting for you. But if you're looking to build something that's a little bit more complex, then check out this video because I've tried more than 200 no code tools. And I'm going to tell you which one is going to be the best for your project. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.